Hello Scorpio, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love. Um, so what can you expect? Um, as always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's see. Sir, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Scorpio. For Scorpio, what do they need to know, Spirit, regarding love relationships? First half of January 2022. For Scorpio, what is coming their way for Scorpio? Wow, new beginnings. First card out. What can they expect? Wow, unexpected event and falling leaves. I don't know what's going on. Okay, victory lap at the bottom of the deck. I don't know what's going on with these bonus readings, but they are all following a, a kind of similar theme. Tower moments, um, new beginnings, judgment keeps showing up. Um, shocking revelations, unexpected communication. That's what keeps coming up in these readings. So I'm not surprised that new beginnings is here with the tower. <laughs> And then we also have falling leaves. Time changes everything. Changes, transitions. So there's some sort of change that's going to happen due to this unexpected event. Uh, a new beginning for you, Scorpio. So let's see what else we need to know. Past, present, future energies for Scorpio regarding love spirit. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Past, present, future energies. What do we need to know? Or Scorpio, what do we need to know? Past, present, energies in love. Wow, Four of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords reverse. Okay, fi finally, a good spread or at least i should say a positive spread because all the spreads are good um bottom of the deck three of pentacles reverse okay i spoke too soon um overall energy is a three of pentacles reverse so something that's not really working out right now or not working well together um a feeling of i don't know it's i'm, I'm getting frustration here but i'm not sure why it's like maybe someone's frustrated that something's not working out for them and that they're not able to work out with work work together with someone let's see what this is about four scorpios what do we need to know about these energies Okay, tell me about this Three of Pentacles reverse. Why is it Three of Pentacles reverse? Eight of Swords. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse spirit for Scorpio? Four of Wands. So this is happening possibly at home, within a family unit. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. Not being able to work together with someone regarding, interesting. So I'm getting this energy of not being able to talk to someone on, like it's like a sitting across from someone at a table or in a room and not being able to, to communicate or get through to them. But I wonder if it's because someone doesn't, it's, it's, it's like maybe they're afraid of confrontation, afraid of causing a fight or something like that. Okay, let's see what the heck this is about. Why is the four of wands here? I think that wanted to come out, the seven of cups. Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Okay, so this is somebody um, evaluating their options. Ch choosing the right cup. What's this page of pentacles about? I'm trying to figure out what this is, page of cups. Okay, tell me about the eight of swords. What is this eight of swords about? Why is the eight of swords here? 
Why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay, so I think this is somebody that you are having difficulties with in a connection. There's difficulties here and someone wants things to be stable. They want to be able to talk things out. They want to be able to collaborate, work together. Um, but I think they're a bit scared of being rejected or being unsuccessful here. Maybe they're waiting for the right time to approach you or vice versa to fix things. Because the Five of Swords reverse tells me that there's a conflict that will be resolved or a fight that's going to be over. But something had to be let go of first with the Four of Pentacles reverse here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. What's this about with the Four of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? The Hierophant and the Six of Cups. Holy crap. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What in the world? Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. What the heck is this about? Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. This is what's changing. Someone I feel is leaving a connection or left a connection in the past. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe this was a marriage. Maybe there were children involved. This was a past connection or something happened in the past here. Seven of Wands is saying that right now there are challenges, defensive. Uh, there's a defensive um, energy. Um, someone's trying to protect themselves or stand up for themselves. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yeah, Five of Wands, because there's fighting, drama, conflict going on. Is this someone literally fighting for something? Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, can I get one more? Fighting for an opportunity? Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords again, Eight of Cups. My goodness. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that I feel wasn't honest or was a player or was non-committal at some point um, and they either walked away or I don't know. It's I'm getting a few messages, Scorpio. So bear with me because I feel like I could be talking to two groups of Scorpios here. I feel like someone walked away from something and they shouldn't have. They weren't thinking about that decision very well. And now they kind of want to turn this around or now they're dealing with the consequences of those actions. Yeah, this could be a third party situation where they involved someone else or someone else got in the way. Oops. Ugh. Oh my God, the tower's on the ground. Of course it is. Hang on a second. Oops. What happened? Okay, ho hold on. There's a tower again. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. I want to see what this is before I look at all of this together. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? I think this was someone that sabotaged something good and now wants to fix it. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords? Two of Wands. Five of Swords. Oh, man. What I see here is someone that wants to make, they want to choose a different path because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And they wanna fix things with you or you wanna fix things with them because you made a mistake. A mistake was made. Mistakes were made. Um, I feel like this is someone that let go of something valuable and wants it back. 
but it's not going to be so easy because when they let go of something valuable, they might have damaged the trust that was built or they might have left a disaster in their wake or something like that. Tell me about this Eight of Cups and this Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yep. So when they left it, I mean, they caused difficulty for someone else or they involved a third party. They caused heartbreak. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, now they wanted Ten of Pentacles. Now they want long-term commitment. Now they want their partner back, the lovers, Gemini energy. They want to change in their circumstances. Tell me about this two of wands. What can you tell me about this two of wands? But someone I feel is resistant. Yeah, justice and the five of pentacles. This person wants to fix things. But I feel like they've put the other person. Okay, so... For the first group of Scorpios, so that I don't, you know, confuse anybody anymore. <laughs> For the first group of Scorpios, I feel like someone left you or you left them in the past. It was very heartbreaking. It was very difficult. And now when this person returns, there's a guard up. There's, there's someone that is defending themselves or resisting this in some way. Uh, but someone definitely wants to fix things. And I feel like unexpected event, new beginnings, falling leaves. It's almost like they've had a change of heart and they're going to come in and cause a tower, I feel. Either this new beginning will be unexpected. The fact that they want a new beginning with you is unexpected. Or the fact that they're coming in with a page of pentacles, page of cups, knight of pentacles is unexpected. Um, this is someone that has been held back by fear. And for some reason, something's happening where they're no longer holding back and they want to come in and basically duke it out to prove to you that they're remorseful. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Of course, it's going to be up to you if you take them back, if you accept the apology. But that's what they're thinking. Now, some of you, another group of Scorpios, this person could have involved, been with another person. So maybe they left you and they went with someone else and the grass wasn't green or on the other side and now they want to come back to you now that they're single. But you don't trust them or you're wary about this in some way. Maybe you don't want to get involved in the drama. But it doesn't change the fact that this person's feeling this way. They want to regain what they've lost. So it'll be up to you if you give them that. Um, so that's what I see for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. Um, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more readings from me. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.